Hi there mates, I'm back with yet another DIY install video for your Tesla and in this case we are going to install these sexy buttons in my Tesla Model Y Performance. If you're new here, my name is Nash and you're watching Tesla in the Gong. I do a lot of DIY upgrade videos for your Teslas with easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. I also do reviews of Tesla and non-Tesla EVs and my most recent non-Tesla EV was of the Lucid Air Grand Touring. I went all the way to Saudi Arabia, to the homeland of Lucid, so to speak, to do that review. That review is on my channel. Link is in the top right corner as well as in the description. A sub to the channel will be amazing. Without further ado, let's do this. Okay, let's do a quick unboxing of these sexy buttons. Now, they are made in the EU. When you pull this out, that is where the sexy buttons are. What are the things in the box? The first thing that you see are these sexy buttons, the SEXY. They're the four buttons that are there. They also come in a package of six buttons as well as two buttons. So that is something that you can choose to buy and install. And this is the commander module, which communicates with the um, with the OBD port of your car. And in my case, I'm installing it in a 2023 Tesla Model Y. So I do have a spare OBD port here, just next to the driver's seat. So if you're wondering why I'm sitting on the right side, well, this is the right-hand drive Australian version of the Tesla Model Y. Well, this is the right side of the vehicle as well. The wrong side we did not talk about in this channel. Right here, so on top of these uh, sexy buttons, they also have these stickers that are in there, two sets of stickers. Uh, so they do just have the SEXY uh, embedded in these buttons and these stickers uh, could be something that you can keep replacing depending on what you want to have these to represent. So these are all functionalities that are there in your dash and you can use these stickers to sort of represent them. Uh, so this is more like a quick access key to these functions that are there in your dash. With, the, with regards to the difficulty of install, I'll put this at a 2 on 10. It is super easy to install. What else came with the packaging? So we also have the OBD pass-through cable that came with this because this is the AMD version. They gave me a cable which has the smaller port. We'll see where that goes into the driver's side in just a bit. And also a plastic spudger came with this as well. The next question you're probably going to ask is why am I installing these buttons? I have a specific problem in my car which was driving me in. Tesla will not fix that problem I'm afraid so I have to take these measures but in addition to that I found that these sexy buttons have other additional functionality which I'm really starting to love. I'll talk about all that in the next part of this video. Let's go to the install now. Okay, the first thing that I usually do with any install, we go into safety and then we go and power off. I believe it's not really necessary, but uh, in an abundance of caution, I always like to do this. And I also like to lower the windows and open the doors because in case something happens and you don't have access to the car, I sort of take it as a, a precautionary thing and do it for all my installs. Uh, in the more recent updates, it's not really necessary, but I do it nevertheless just as a matter of, of preference. That's all. The next step is to access the OBD port. First things first, you need to remove this one, this one, and this one. They're just held by clips. Nothing to worry, just remove them. Two third one is there is a small little plastic clip which is over here we can remove that and then remove this too and then all you need to do is just pull this back nothing to worry there are just clips there and that is where you access the obd port which is in there all you need to do is pull this off this actually comes off in total that actually makes the uh, install a little easy. These plastic things won't keep you know, flapping about in the wind. Take this off and leave it in a secure place. One more plastic clip to remove. Same drill, no big deal. Just take that out. Now you can retract this and access 
the OBD port, which is over there. Now, once you open this spot, you should have that blank OBD blue plug into which your commander module's pass-through cable should go. In my case, I also have one more second screen over here. And so I'm going to probably daisy chain the command module to the existing uh, you know, second screen's plug. Let's see if that works. If you are just installing only the commander module, you wouldn't have to think about this. Just install the command module's um, OBD plug over here, and then they're all golden. In my case, I'm going to try something different. So if you have a second screen, this is probably something that you probably would need to. Now, because the space may be a little wanting, I first like to connect the commander plug. It's a very simple thing. It comes with its dedicated clip. You plug that in there. Now that is ready to go. Now this one will go into the female of the OBD port plug, which is the blue plug. And this one would be the place where you have your existing uh, OBD. In my case, I have the second screen. I'm going to plug that into this. In your case, you'll just leave this empty. So you'll just plug this in and then you're all golden. After that, you just need to plug the power source, which is over here. I'll show that in the next step. So that's the OBD plug plugged in. I'm going to show you the one without the second screen and then I'll show you one with the second screen as well. That's the next step for connecting power. Now at the bottom over here, you must have the power plug and this is the plug where you use to install this. There's already another plug which is sitting there. You need to take that out, plug this in and then daisy chain that existing plug onto this part over here and that's what we're going to do. Okay, the command module is over here. This is the pass-through plug from Enhance, and this is the existing plug which ought to be connected there. And so we're gonna just plug that into this, and that will complete the circuit. So that will complete the circuit, and now your command module is all fully installed. Previously, there used to be some lights on the command module, but now in the Gen 2 version, they do not have that, I'm afraid. So now the circuit is complete, and your Enhance um, sexy plugs are now installed completely. So very quickly to show you that, this goes into the pass-through, the pass-through goes into the power, and the OBD goes there and the command module is out. Now if you are somebody like me who has the second screen, I'm going to show you how to do that as well now. Radio. so this is the um, OBD port plug for my second screen. I'm going to install that onto this pass-through that was from the Enhanced Autos uh, pass-through plug. And this was the uh, plug from um, the second screen that was there. I'm going to install that second screen plug onto the Enhanced Autos second screen plug so that we can get some power going. So this is the Enhanced Auto second screen that is over here. We're going to get my um, second screen plug onto this. Click that in place. And then in, plug that other end into the male plug on the other side. Let's do that. And that's that. This is how the double, uh, double clip or double uh, accessory connection would look like. We can push all this in and we can also push the command module also inside and we can go in for the app setup now. Radio, now let's install the app. I'm installing the iOS version of the app. I'm gonna put all of that in the side here so that you can watch along with me and set this up as well. There is a small caveat with the iOS version of the app and the Android version of the app has a slightly different functionality and we'll talk about that in the uh, later part of this video. Let's open the app now. So it says, let's go. I don't need an app overview. We're now ready. First and foremost, you need to go into the commander button and install a new commander. So it'll do a little bit of connecting. It'll do a little bit of searching and then it'll connect to the commander that we have installed uh, right about. Yeah, so that's it. So now it is installed and now all the functionalities are there. It says commander connected. 
and now we are going to install the buttons let's go into the buttons and i'm going to pick up one of the buttons and i'm going to do this via the commander and i'm going to use the s button of the sexy let's click on add and then it says press and hold it's just do the pressing and holding and wait till it connects and success and that's it it's as simple as that so one button is now connected you can now go ahead and do all the other buttons as well and that's what we're going to do very quickly so that's that that's four buttons i su i suppose this will support all the way up to six buttons so you can have two more at the bottom as well if you need that you can buy that separately too uh, after the fact to uh, do an add-on that's fine too so that is all possible now let's go and sort of uh, use these buttons for doing separate things and in that way we're going to do look at the overview it says the commander uh, module has a firmware upgrade too so you can do a firmware update right there and it's supposed to improve a lot of things it says uh, please do not turn off the commander from the obd port and leave the vehicle bluetooth of the phone should be on during the whole process uh, usually it takes two to four minutes depending on your device and operating system note you should not be driving during the update so this is how you do the commander update as well and these are the warnings that are there with this i'll see you immediately after the commander update okay the update is now complete click on done uh, let's do the buttons first let's click on one action so button number one you click on that and now you can use different actions in this um, let's click on uh, this so if you go into the uh, overarching menu so there are so many things that you can add to each of these buttons the box says 60 features can be accessed via the buttons i believe there are over 100 let's click on each of them and check them out so the first one is open you can open the trunk the front the left door right door rear door uh, left and right and the glove box as well now uh, you may wonder why the doors are here so if you have a third party which has auto presenting doors i did have in one of my earlier cars and that can be programmed here and you click on this one button and it will pop open the door particularly if it's a passenger door in our side the passenger door is this side if it's a passenger door and you don't want to reach uh, to open that's great or if you want the rear door if you're driving an uber for that for my for that matter click on that and the rear door will open and you can pop open the door handle on and the door as well so that is in the open functionality in acceleration you can toggle um you can toggle the level of acceleration chill sport played toggle played so on and so forth uh, of course this is for the snx as well so the plate is there this is an interesting button in my opinion region you can make the region 0 25 50 75 or 100 the 100 is the standard if you want to reduce the region you can reduce the region as well or you can also toggle up by 25 down by 25 loop up to 25 loop down set to zero set to 25 so on and so forth this is a super cool uh, part and i will probably be doing one of this the region in one of my buttons and the sec next one is the autopilot you can set the cruising speed minus one plus one minus five plus five depending on where you live uh, in australia we are super strict so we are uh, quite strict about that and then uh, press once to enable cruise control press a second time to disable autopilot press one to enable autopilot so if you don't want to use the stock and you want to use the buttons like in the new highland tesla model 3 or in the plate s and x you can use that autopilot on autopilot max so on and so forth and then you can go into media volume controls up down next song pause and and uh, you know play next song this is not great if you want to stick the one of the buttons here in front it's probably great for uh, people who want to have a button in the rear they can probably do that and use it in that way i do have a second screen for the rear i have a separate video on that too if you want to watch that and now now let's go into charging now battery preconditioning is something that i'm really interested in because battery preconditioning uh, does not happen when you're going to a third party charger at least here in australia we do not have third party chargers uh, in built in our map so battery battery preconditioning will not happen so i am going to use one of my buttons for battery preconditioning opening the charge port is also a good uh, feature to have if you just want to click on that and open the charge port 
for a, a friend or uh, or your partner to just quickly plug in the plug you can open it from here of course you can just open it from the dash mirrors of course you can tilt mirrors dim mirrors fold mirrors then you can do seated heating um, <laughs> heated seats so you can toggle on off so on and so forth multiple uh, ways of doing this toggle all rear that's a good one toggle all rear off so instead of going and fishing around in the screen you can probably just use this button seat cooling of course we do not have seat cooling in my tesla model y uh, but the model s and x does have it i believe the highland model 3 uh, the new refreshed model 3 also does have it climate control of course you can have steering uh, heating instead of going into the dash you can just press one and the steering heating will happen it's great if you are living in a very cold country and this is a good one to have um, then the wipers you can ha increase it by 1.5 minus 1 uh, standard loop to one standard loop to 0.5 toggle off so you can press to toggle off I'll probably have one of the buttons uh, in the toggle off because there is an important nag in our Tesla autopilot where autopilot will automatically activate auto wipers and the auto wipers in Tesla's suck let's just just be done with that one word they are terrible uh, and autopilot can, cannot uh, when autopilot is engaged you cannot disable your wipers and that is an absolute nag particularly when i'm on the highway i do not want to be you know worried about taking off of autopilot and then switching it off and then going back on autopilot and immediately after the uh, the wipers will start off again as well so i'm going to have a toggle off in one of the switches but there is also another uh, commander module uh, 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 feature that I'm going to demonstrate next so that is with uh, regards to the wipers there's so much of controls in the wipers you can have washers also activated instead of using the button you can do that now if you have a screen which tilts you can use this to access that and access the screen tilt it's only for the SNX third parties may not work um, stopping mode you, you can you know remove uh, creep hold and roll but I recently heard that Tesla is actually going to remove that in a more recent update coming up uh, traction control drift mode uh, slip start on off you can you can toggle snow mode so on and so forth accessibility you can have turn on turn off of the uh, indicators so if you want to uh, not use the stock at all and you want to make the car feel like having a uh, you know a yoke steering wheel model x or model s you can uh, just program the buttons to do this uh, you can also have the yoke turn uh, right and left and so on and so forth hazard lights if you don't want to use the hazard light from the top you can use that and voice command can have a separate dedicated button instead of pressing the scroll wheel so that is something you can do gear shift you can just toggle gear shifts from here just like in the model s and model x you can toggle unlock and child lock and so on and so forth the others have a lot more the interior lights can be turned off turned on uh, parking brake now people think that just putting one in brake is is the parking brake which is not the case you press and hold and that activates the parking brake you can bring that into this track mode mine is a performance model y so track mode is there now thank you you can uh, set thank you so this is if somebody lets you into the car um, to join the lane you can say thank you by you know pressing that one button and thank you one is one time the hazard lights will flash two two times three three times it's a very nice courtesy feature to have and those are the features in the buttons and we're going to program the uh, the buttons first first things first we're going to do the region and I want to uh, keep region at 50% I want to have low region and uh, you can save action so the s button of the uh, sexy the s button has the low region um, and and it says temporarily override your car's region braking the first press will set it to a selected value which is 0 5 50 or 75 in my case it is it is 50 percent is what i've had that is at the um, at that button so that is success successfully saved and you can of course change that button later and you can also stick one of the stickers on that for the region and use that too now let's program the second button this is definitely going to be the battery preconditioning which i think is a great great feature particularly here in australia where we do not have um you know uh, third party chargers into our map and that is what i'm going to use save action so clicking on that will click and uh, activate battery preconditioning and i'll show you that in just a bit let's do the um uh, e button 
uh, they have region uh, down to 25 I don't want that I'm gonna put the instead of putting that I'm gonna get wipers I'm gonna put the E button in wipers toggle off so you can toggle off and then um, press a second time to return to auto uh, if the autopilot nag exists I am going to just use this so the E button is that and the Y button would be let's say um, uh, I could use the um, others feature so let's go into others feature uh, and I'll have track mode in the Y button so let's save that so that is the SCXY button that's all set up okay now that we have set up the app I'm going to show you an interesting feature which is the dash on the sexy buttons or the sexy app when you click on the zero kilometers an hour because now we are in a stationary position we click on that it brings up the dash and we're going to see all the dash features in this video so there you can see you can see uh, some of the features that are there it shows you the level of region that is there which is 100 percent uh, and now i'm the state of charge is 72 percent i have 300 43 kilometers on my battery at this time when I start driving I should start to see these moving now you remember the S button had the uh, had the region set to 50 so when I press the S button it takes a few seconds and then you see that went down to 50% uh, there the two green bars are only there the two other green bars are gone let's press this one more time and it becomes 100% there so that is super cool there and we know that the E button is battery preconditioning so we can s click on the E button for battery preconditioning. You can see uh, pre uh, preconditioning NA. Um, it says because right now I'm not in driving. So when I'm driving, so what I need to do is let's let's do this. Let's put the car into uh, into uh, um, into drive, and then once we are ready with that, let's click on the preconditioning. Not going to drive at this time. Uh, click on preconditioning, and then. I believe I must be driving to start preconditioning the battery. Um, so that, that is that. So that is E, uh, Y as well. So let's press on, uh, oh, let's press on X, sexy. Let's go to sexy as is. So when you click on sexy, it's it turns off the wipers from uh, auto. So that is really cool. And then we press on Y, you have track mode turned on. And I'm going to show you so the car has track mode enabled and uh, it, it wants to do a lot of things uh, let me show that over here too so look at that so track mode is now enabled in the car <laughs> i have never used track mode and i do not even want to do that now so let's press that again to disable track mode Now, in addition to this, we talked about the commander module having a few uh, features built in. So we can have uh, the high beam or wipers turned off. So you can force uh, manual high beam or you can force uh, turning off of the wipers. So turn off high beam or wipers if automatically activated after start of autopilot. Uh, so this is the bug that has been bugging me all my life and I'm definitely going to turn this on. I do have the button as well but I'm going to turn this on so it will force an auto off of the wipers when autopilot is turned on and that is the most important reason why I bought this sexy buttons in the first place and then um, we can do the presenting doors, lights, all of that. There are lots of other things that you can enable. So you can use the door handles to do a few things. So you can uh, you can use the front door handle and hold it for a few seconds and then it will open the front. That's an interesting feature to have. You can do that for the rear door handle to uh, to um, uh, to do in the uh, uh, to do open the charge port as well. Uh, the half press is not supported. It says the long pull does uh, uh, does uh, support itself here. You can say I want to hold the uh, whatever uh, paddle for a few seconds. So in this case, let's say front right handle. That's the driver side handle. If I pull and hold for five seconds, that should open my uh, frunk and we'll show that to you just uh, in a bit so we can do a few other things uh, continuous autopilot you can automatically restart autopilot if it's if it, the car takes takes itself takes itself out of autopilot i think it's not a great feature to have so i'm not going to have that um, uh, turned on and you can have presenting doors 
uh, and I want to show security before going to scan my Tesla. Now, security, uh, we want to have safe Bluetooth connect uh, because when you are, nobody is there in the car, we do not want somebody else to access the commander because we can do so much with this. So safe Bluetooth is great. So only when there is somebody inside the car will the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi get connected, I'm going to have that. Now, this is scan my Tesla. So the iOS version of scan my Tesla is supported. So what it does is it creates sort of a hotspot for you to connect the scan my Tesla app. Uh, this option will be disabled after your vehicle loses connection to the OBD port uh, or if there's a lag or something of that sort. So they say it's a warning there, but this is only the iOS version of, um, you know, scan my Tesla uh, is, is activated and you can always do scan my Tesla always on as well. So this is uh, a feature that can be turned on, but again, for people who do not know what scan my Tesla is, do not worry about this. For people who know what scan my Tesla is, they probably know that the iOS version is subpar to the Android version. You can still daisy chain there your scan my Tesla commander as well, or whatever it's called, the scan my Tesla device as well, uh, and still use the Android as you usually used to. You can do that, but if you still want to use the iOS version, you like the iOS version, some people may want just those features that the iOS version uh, offers, you can just use this and set up the scan my Tesla through a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. I don't think it's a great idea. I still like the uh, Android version. This video does not have the depth to go through scan my Tesla. There will be a separate video for that, but this is something that can be done. So this is super cool. Now we'll quickly show you that one commander um, feature. Okay, now I have exited the vehicle, right side, the driver side. We press and we pull and hold and we hold this for five seconds, it should open the frunk and that's what it does. I do have an automatic or electronic frunk uh, in uh, my car and that will open the frunk as well. In most other cases, it'll just unlock the frunk. Yes, there is a video on how to install that as well. Now, in my case, because it is an automated frunk, we should be able to close as well. Pull and hold for five seconds. That should activate and there we go, voila. That's not a bad feature to have, in my opinion. So yes, I do a lot of DIY upgrades and there are loads of videos in my channel in that regard too. All right, parting thoughts. Super easy install, really love this. The functionality is amazing. It said 60 here, but over, over there, over 60 is there in accessing all the dashboard features and more too. And more is being added with every update too. And the responsiveness is super fast. The Gen 2 sexy buttons. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this, but I've reached out to them to ask for a code. I believe they're going to set up Tesla Gong if you want some discount. I do get a little bit of kickback from that. So full disclosure there. It'll also help my channel grow too. So sexy buttons from Enhance. The website is there for you to check and the link is there in the description of this video too. I really love this. Difficulty two on 10, easy to install. I'll see you guys in another interesting video with another DIY update or an electric vehicle review very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.